Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Tristan Went, coming from Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And today I'm joined with Peter. Peter's traveling for his seventh visit today. He's come for twice a day for three days, along with an extra one here on Thursday. So he's coming down from Holland, Netherlands region. Uh, Peter's coming in with a primary complaint of low back pain, right side joint pain. He also had some neck pain and stiffness that resulted in some cervicogenic headaches. Um, he had some bilateral shoulder stiffness on either side. And then he's also a little bit sore on the anterior rib cage from all the anterior rib adjustments this week as well. So Peter, I want you to share to the crack addicts out there what your experience has been like here this week at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. Yeah, well, hi everyone, I'm Peter. Um, I came here because I saw a lot of uh, YouTube videos and uh, I had these problems and I thought, well, there were a lot of good reviews. So I thought, well, let's give it a try and go over and see uh, if they can help me out. Get me relieved from the pain because you'd never seen a chiropractor before coming to no, the states it's, right no it's the first time yeah so monday this past monday was his very first chiropractic adjustment ever and yeah. started with the biophysics adjustment and they got him decompressed on the ring dinger for the first one so yeah and i'm uh i'm very uh, happy because uh i'm feeling a lot better uh since when i came in and uh i'm really uh satisfied and uh, thank you very much uh, dr wen for Absolutely. helping me out so far and uh, of course, I, want, I also want to thank the rest of the team, Shiloh, <laughs> really helpful and friendly, and also Dr. Uh, Johnson, also very friendly. He stopped so, out yesterday and you got to meet him, right? Yeah, yeah. got to meet him yesterday. And uh, if I can uh, give any advice to uh, you all, uh, if you are in pain, just uh, make an uh, appointment, come over to Houston and see Dr. Uh, Wendt. And uh, he's awful. He's really good. <laughs> it's he's, a love-hate relationship. Isn't he's it? the best of the West. And uh, <laughs> I'd say, uh, see this uh, this guy. He's uh, the Houston wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Let's get the crystal ball out and get you adjusted to this man. Huh? Yeah. We'll start with the ring dinger this first. First, this morning, Peter. Once we pan around to the other side, though, too, you guys will see that it's a pretty dark and stormy day here in Houston. Nice day to come get adjusted. Not much else to do outside. <laughs> um, like in one of the last videos that we posted as well, Peter's having some soreness around the hip region just from getting seven ring fingers over the last four days. Mm -hmm. uh, probably been the worst of the worst, on, along with the anterior rib adjustments, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you slide down about two inches for me here. A little bit more, a little bit more. And you guys have to Cut him a break on it too, because if he gives it a moan and a groan or a squeal here and there, it's because all the bruising on the hips. I guarantee you, most patients wouldn't even be coming in for that seventh visit because they'd just be so sore on the hips they wouldn't want to get adjusted. So Peter's toughing it out because he's coming all the way in from Holland. I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. Relax the hip as much as you can. Peter, have you keep those teeth together for me? Yep. Take that nice, same deep breath all the way in. Good. Exhale all the way Perfect. One more nice big breath. Good. Oh, Let that tummy just sink, sink, sink. Let those shoulders fall out of the tape. Let's just slip through there on that last one. Take a nice breath for me. You want to give it for a double dinger today? You're going to leave it at that. I know those hips are really, really sore on there. <laughs> You gonna leave it at that for today? I guess so. Okay. Don't worry, we'll get you worked up on the biophysics table yet, too. Okay. I'll relax you back for me. One more. Just on the upper right side here. Yeah. You don't let that ear drop, drop, drop. Not sounding off as much as those first few days, but it's because we've got you yeah, well adjusted down here on day number four. But, yeah. Peter, we'll go face down here on the biophysics table next. I promise you, it's not nighttime here, it's just a dark, stormy day here in Houston. It feels like it's about nine o'clock at night while we're here in the office today. 
So another interesting finding here too, Peter has been consistently about an eighth of an inch shorter, I'll convert this to the metric system, about a half of a centimeter short on the right hand side consistently. He came in on day number one with about three quarters of an inch or about two centimeters leg length deficiency on the right hand side or a positive deer field test. Um, but he had a femur fracture back in the day where he actually shattered the femur and had to get a rod placed through his right femur. And so he's had a little bit of an anatomical leg length deficiency because of that injury in the past. So like I said, he started about a three quarters of an inch difference, but here consistently you've got only about an eighth of an inch to maybe of a quarter of an inch, but that's because we're about to get him adjusted here. That shows the difference between functional leg length deficiency and anatomical leg length deficiency. Because if someone's born with just a femur that is shorter than the other, they've had injuries in the past across growth plates or anything like that, that's going to create an anatomical deficiency, not necessarily a functional deficiency from the joints of the pelvis and low back. Oh boy. <laughs> Peter might not be signing off for us, but Mother Nature is. <laughs> Peter wanted to have a day to go explore Houston, but <laughs> looks like you might be hanging out in the hotel again, huh? Yeah. That's a big one coming. Yeah. Big breath in for me, Peter. So we've gone through those lower lumbar spine. We're gonna go through the mid thoracics here. Big breath in from the pew. And as you exhale, keep dropping those shoulders all the way out again. Good, yes, sir. A big breath. Let those arms drop, drop, drop to each side there for me. Good. Two more through here, okay? Left shoulder fall, fall, fall. Yeah, last one. Big breath. Good. All right. Check the leg length one more time here. So, again, they are better than when we started, but still about an eighth of an inch short on that right side. And that's just his normal anatomical deficiency on that right leg there. And you wear a heel lift when you're walking around on that side, too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. That's one of the only times or circumstances that we, me and Dr. Johnson would recommend a heel lift is when you do have that anatomical leg length deficiency. Perfect. Peter, have you go face up for me next, please, sir. down towards me just a bit. There we go. A little bit more towards me. Yeah. Try to take it a little bit easier on these today for the AC joints and ribs. Relax your hands on your tummy for me next. Relax your hands on your tummy for me. There you go. Big breath all the way. I'm going to catch you off guard a few times on this one this week, huh? Yeah. You tighten up on the leg pull. <laughs> there we go. Get your double dinger on the leg today. Has this lived up to all the expectations and hype that you had seen in all the videos? 
yeah. leading up to this week? Yeah. Good. It's not just crunching water, water bottle noises or anything that we're adding into the videos, huh? No. It's pretty noisy back here. Yeah, one more. There we go. Peter, no, that's, that's, that's the real deal. Yes, sir. If you swing those legs all the way around towards my shadow this time. Usually we look out towards the beautiful Houston traffic there, but this is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my last photo. Yeah, this is <laughs> Peter's been getting the hang of the procedures here, and so every time we get into the shoulder adjustment, he starts going through the <laughs> range of motion for me. And so yesterday I made a comment that it looked like he was a Holland cowboy in here trying to lasso somebody. <laughs> You've been having some fun in here too, along with all the soreness of getting beat up along the week, huh? Uh, yeah. yeah. Good. So there we go. Holland, Holland cowboy right there. Yeah. <laughs> We had a little bit better week or weather for you this week. Yeah. Nice. Some of the deepest shoulder adjustments, huh? Mm -hmm. Drop that shoulder as much as you can there for me. There we go. One more. Can you lean away from me just a little bit? Save the best for last, my friend. Yeah. Has that hand been getting better as well this week? Yeah. yeah. Good. Things that you didn't even realize needed some improving have been improving this week, huh? Really? Yeah. Okay. Sure to drop, drop. Just one more time there. A little bit more. All right. All right. Come on. Right. You can do it. Last one. Come on. We Come got on. it. <laughs> I might have to rip it off and leave it here in Houston, okay? <laughs> Peter, you stand up here with me next. I'm going to shoot you one last time. Have you relaxed forward for me first? Yeah. Let's pair spinals and relax first. Peter's been a great patient to have in the office this week because he also asks a lot of questions and wants to understand what's going on with his body, not just come in and use me as a pain reliever, which is, I love being for people, but also like help explaining and helping people understand why they're in pain and what they can do to keep helping themselves get out of pain too. So. I love that Peter asks questions all along the way, and he wants to really understand what's going on and what we're doing here in the office. So, That's Peter, right. remember that foundation exercise? Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I told him every day, he gets the gold star for this one. And from day one to day four here now, we've got probably about 10 to 12 degrees more of extension in all these positions here, mm -hmm. which is beautiful, my friend. So, Peter, any closing words here for the crack addicts or anybody back home you want to give a shout out to? Um, well, again, if, if you're in pain, don't, don't hesitate. Uh, make an appointment, come over to Houston, and uh, you won't be sorry. Uh, it's a real deal. It's worth every dime, and uh, that's it for me. Appreciate those kind words, Peter. Thank you very much. So this is day four, and this is your last ring dinger of the trip. Yeah. I'll be ringing the ring dinger bell on the way out. On the way out. Yes, okay. sir. No, you can ring it right now for us <laughs> on the video. Okay. <laughs> there we go. See the Holland Cowboy later, okay? This is your Houston chiropractor, <laughs> Dr. Tristan Went, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief with Mr. Peter from Holland, yep. the Holland Cowboy, and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>